Starting Football with Ronnie Huckabee. Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's a 52-30 winner on Saturday against East Central and on Senior Day a complete day for the Bison's 490 yards of total offense for Ronnie Huckabee's football team and uh, minus 21 as far as the rushing attack for East Central. Your defense was outstanding and all also scored twice in the right. first quarter. Right. You know, Billy, we got off to such a great start. 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. And, you know, it seems like the older you get as a coach, the more you worry. And uh, I, I, I was worried at that point that, uh, you know, our guys were going to think this was going to be too easy. It happens all the time in football. You see it on a weekly basis. Somebody gets a few quick touchdowns and then they have a tendency to relax. I think we did that. And because we did that, the game was not as, as pretty as I would have liked for it to be in for the rest of the time. But, you know, I'm going to try to look on the bright side. We did have a great win. We got to honor our seniors. Uh, you know, East Central was a good football team. Uh, their record, uh, I don't think, is an indication of their talent this year, but I think some of that is due to the fact that they have a lot of young players in critical p positions. But overall, a great day for the Bisons, and, uh, you know, I think we are, we're going to take a lot of positive momentum into our, our final game, final regular season game of the year. All right, Coach mentioned 28 first quarter points for the Bison. So a lot of highlights to get to, and we'll start with first half highlights right after this. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee and the Bison. As we mentioned, the 28 points in the first quarter and the defense, a big part of that is the defense scores twice in the first quarter. And uh, we start the highlights with uh, a big pick six to start the football game. Well, you know, Darius Lane uh, has been a, a great addition to our football team and, and he gets better and better every week. He's a very talented player. And, you know, of course, I, you know, the quarterback threw that one right to him. And I, you know, I kidded him this week. I called him pick six. Uh, but, you know, I think that guy's going to continue to have a strong, strong impact on our football team. Really good football player. You know, this was the, you know, I guess the best punt return that we've had all year long. Corey Bassett, uh, you know, Corey has got tremendous speed and he gets some real good blocking out in front. You know, this was a well-designed return and uh, ended up setting us up in great position for our first possession. You know, that's the first play of the game. We, you know, give the ball to Romo on the zone dive. Uh, he got hit pretty hard right there at his knee, and I was worried about him a little bit, but he bounced back. A toss to Jason Oller with good blocking out in front of him. And uh, then Keenan gets in on the quarterback sneak. And uh, I don't know about that flag. But a great start already <laughs> up 14 nothing very early in the football game. Right, right. This was a great job by Matt McCown. You know, we, when we blitz up the middle, our ends have what we call silver rules, which means that they've got to uh, be responsible for anything outside. And Matt was in great position. We come back and get the ball pitched, get a great block out in front of Ahmad, and he does a super job with the ball. There's a handoff inside on the first phase of the midline triple. You know, we really got after the quarterback. Uh, yeah, I, guess you, I guess you could say that we did that since we set a school record with 10 sacks. Uh, it was just a great day for our defense. That uh, is Tello on the fast screen. Yeah, they gave us a little bit too much cushion out there and we took advantage of it. This is another triple option. 
to Ahmad, Jason Aller out front. They grabbed his face mask, so we get an extra 15, and then we get the ball to Romo on the trap. And uh, he is going to get close to getting in the end zone. I thought he got the ball inside the pylon, but uh, you know, they didn't see it that way. We hand the ball off to him on the zone dive. He gets in the end zone, and there's another touchdown for the Bison. So we're 21 to nothing at this point. Yeah, still, still in the first quarter, so still damage to be done, and uh, the defense is going to get a chance to come back and, and put more points on the board right here. Right. This was a great job by Eric Stock knocking that ball loose. Uh, Eric is... Uh, one of our free safeties, super job. Terrell Hill is right on it with the scoop and score, which we work on all the time. And, uh, you know, it was great to see our defense get 14 points. You know, that was something that goes unnoticed is the job of the holder. That was Alex Finley, who's been our holder for four years, and he did a super job getting that ball set down for John Gay so he could knock that extra point down. And 28 nothing now, you, you mentioned worrying about complacency coming in, but boy, a great block field goal right here. Right. Uh, Devontae Britt, and that was our whole left side doing a super job to free Devontae up. And uh, he knocked the ball down and, and uh, you know, kept him from scoring points. But Coach, complacency, I think at 28 nothing is a good problem to have to worry about, isn't it? It is, <laughs> but, you know, uh, as coaches, that's something that we just can't stand. You know, uh, we want our guys to execute at their highest level all the time and, and uh, you know that's our goal and that's what we'll continue to shoot for but it is uh, you know it does happen we just don't want it to happen to us. Great job by John Gay 47 yard field goal and that's John's longest field goal of his career. I'm really really proud of him. Yeah and, and that ended uh, the first half with the Bisons uh, up 31 uh, to 10 at that point a 21 point lead at the half so I wanted to mention to you that field goal was huge to put you back up three scores right, at the break. Right, and you know, we, we debated on the sideline whether to go for the fourth down, but I, you know, when I looked at the clock, looked at the time, and I, I felt like we were within John's range, and uh, it ended up being the right decision. You know, we got the field goal, and uh, it, it put us up three scores, as you mentioned. And, and how important is it to have John Gay with that confidence? He, three field goals two weeks ago, right. and now the 47-yarder in a key spot in the football game there. You're going to need him down the stretch. I no know. doubt. And John was so consistent for us last year. And he, you know, uh, you know, kicking is a lot like playing golf. You kind of have hot streaks, and, and then you have streaks where you're not so hot. And uh, John was not as, you know, as hot this year at the first of the year as he was last year. But he's really come around lately, and I mean, he's kicking the ball really, really well. And so we, that's a great feeling to have because you know you can count on that guy. All right, the Bisons 31-10 leading it where we are right now in the football game at halftime. Stay with us. We'll come back and look at second-half highlights after this. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Give, advocate, volunteer, live united. We were drawn here from all 50 states and more than 50 different nations. We are 7,000 students of languages, arts, sciences, and life. As diverse as our origins and as different as our backgrounds are, it's remarkable how much we have in common here in this place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons would get the football to begin the second half, already up 31-10. to 10. We saw Donatella Luckett with a big return a week ago to get the Bisons started. And, Coach, uh, just like he did last week, he'll do it again here today on this game. This was huge. And, uh, you know, Coach Luke Cullens is the coach of this team. And, boy, we've, we've really, really improved this football team or this part of the football team as we've gone through the season. Uh, Donatella is in beast mode on this return, as you can tell. <laughs> You know, he's not, not about to go down, and uh, this sets us up in great, great position for our first possession of the second half. One reason we like to uh, defer is, uh, you know, we like to get the ball first in the second half. Of course, that's not the way we want to start out with the, putting the ball on the ground, but Jason Oller did a great job of getting that ball back for us. 
Sets up a big play here. Alex Finley had an outstanding day on senior day. We come back with a boot, great block out in front of him by Romo, and we get the ball to Alex, who, as you said, had his best day as a Bison receiver. Uh, and there's a wide open touchdown, and it's, you know, a big part of that is the play action, but we did a great job of getting the ball to him. Yeah, 129 yards receiving on the day for Alex Finley. Yeah, that was, and a, a big part of that was how well he ran his routes. He did a great job of, of selling his run action uh, path in order to get that wide open. And here's another sack. Uh, it's Daniel Riley who had two and a half sacks. You know, he had three the week before, so he's had five and a half sacks in, in two ball games. Romus Robertson, who you know played a great game for us this past Saturday against East Central, and uh, you know these guys are you know doing a super job with the pass rush. There's Danico Jackson Best, one of our seniors, you know with a good run, followed up with uh, Keenan on the midline keep, and uh, we're. We're methodically moving the ball down the field, and then we come back with a play action to Eric Kelly. Great pass. You know, I think, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Keenan had his choice. Donatella and Eric were both wide open on that. And that, that's an indication that the DBs, you know, they got their eyes in the backfield. Not what we want to do. You know, we're in a great position right here. We're ahead, uh, you know, 45 to 10, I believe, at this point. We turn the ball over inside our 10-yard line, as well as our defense is playing. We put them in a bad situation, and they throw the back shoulder fade, and that's a tough pass to defend any time, and they uh, executed it well. Yeah. But they get, the, uh, they get the fire call, bad snap, and a super job of our guys reacting. That's Dalen Skidmore getting over there and making that tackle. Bison's up 45-16 <laughs> at this point. And this is Ashton Williams uh, on the kickoff return. You know, Ashton is so valuable to us on defense. We hadn't let him return many, but uh, you know he does a great job of hitting it, and uh, you know we were glad to see him get back there. Not get another another turnover by us, which is not good. We can't have that. We've got to eliminate those things. Uh, that's good football teams do not do that, and I was not happy about that. Come back with another play action to Alex. And even though he was covered, he did a great job of finding an open spot and Keenan got the ball to him. We come back with the midline triple. Eric Kelly with a super job out in front, got the ball to a mod on the perimeter and there's a great play. We come back with the same play to Eric. Christian Pleta with a great block out in front. Get the ball down inside the 10 yard line. Uh, pleased with this, with this drive. We get the toss to Ahmad and he basically has a walk in. And uh, you know, that was really, really good to see. Glad to see us follow up those uh, two turnovers with a, with a drive for a score. And push the Bisons over 50 points, not 52 to 30 at this point. And we could show highlight after highlight of Bison sacks, I think, yeah. on this one. And that's great to see. And you got to love it. Another sack right there, that is that is Arthur Akers. Arthur had two sacks in this ball game. Uh, one of our young defensive linemen, proud for Arthur. And uh, another good win for the Bisons. Yeah, 52-30 is the final. And I mentioned the negative 21 yards rushing for East Central. I thought that was a key stat. And uh, 304 yards rushing for the Bisons. But you mentioned the, the school records that the Bisons able to set. Right. You have to take a lot of pride in that. The 19 tackles for loss, a school record and the 10 sacks a school record. No doubt about it, Billy. And, uh, you know, our defense did a great job of preparing for these guys this week. We, you know, were able to completely shut down their run game, which when you do that, it makes somebody one-dimensional. We knew that they were going to throw the ball. It allows our D-line to tee off. And when they can do that, you know, we, we got some really good pass rushers. And, uh, you know, those guys did a great job of getting after the quarterback. And Coach mentions pass rushers, and we were able to catch up with Daniel Riley and B.J. Jones after the game, and here were their thoughts. Well, I guess it was a really emotional game, you know, having our last home game here. What can you say? There's no, way, no better way to go out. Well, you know, every week we practice hard and try to get better every week. So I'm happy to see that it's having some good results, you know. Go out on senior day, break two records. Great. Yes, yes, yes. It, it was, it's important for us to win out, win out the rest of the season and see where it goes from there. Yes, yeah. yes, very exciting. It kind of felt like I was retiring 
But you know, yeah, I got over it. So we started playing. You know. I mean, it was fun. It was fun getting to play with the guys like that. I've, I've been with for now four, four and a half years. Um, it was it was a lot of fun coming out and uh, dominating the way we did. We uh we just had the momentum at the beginning and um we knew like this was it. This is our last time playing on this field and um. The younger guys, they knew it was our last time, so they wanted to play for us and, and give it their all. And we wanted to go out with a bang and, and um, let everybody know what we were capable of doing. So we feel we feel great. Um, every game we got better. We knew we knew by this time of the year we were going to be great, and um, and that's how we've been playing. And uh, every every game we took another step, and I think we really showed this game how dominant, how how aggressive our defense. Can be. We knew we knew that's one thing we were talking about turnovers. We knew we would make turnovers no matter how the offense played, which they played great today too. Um, we knew that that we needed to make turnovers and we needed to, you know, send a send a message and and that's what we did. Uh, yes, sir. We're we're not done yet. I mean, this was a good good last home game, but we still season's not over yet. We still got another message to send to Arkansas Tech. Um, uh, we're gonna go out there next week and we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing we did today and uh, take it up another notch and show them who we are. Coach Daniel Riley, three sacks a week ago, two and a half sacks this week and uh, he has been honored as the uh, Great American Conference's Defensive Player of the Week and a great honor and well deserved for Daniel Riley. Well deserved. Daniel's had a great year and uh, <clears throat> as we were talking earlier, it's pretty amazing East Central had given up nine sacks the entire year leading up to this football game and we were able to sack the quarterback ten times. So that's an indication of how well our guys played on Saturday and Daniel was, you know, Obviously, he was, he was great, but we had a bunch of other guys that had a great day, too. All right, the Bison's victorious on Saturday. Stay with us. Much more ahead. We'll come back and look ahead at next week and also uh, talk about the seniors as they play their final game on Saturday at First Security Stadium. We'll come back with more in a moment. All right, guys, we got to be smarter about what we played on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're going to run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm gonna run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right too. We fuel up to play 60. If your school doesn't have a program, be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Healing takes time. It also takes knowledge and expertise. Here we learn to reach out to and care for others through the application of medicine and true compassion. We understand that our mission is to take our training and abilities out into the world where they can and do heal the lives of others. For us, that mission began in a place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee and Saturday, a bittersweet day. Uh, for the Bisons, I, I know the coaches and the parents and everyone because it is Senior Day, and uh, what a what a great way to go out for the seniors at First Security Stadium, Coach. It, it is always bittersweet, and you know I'd like to talk a little bit about Brandon Cable. Uh, you know Brandon is a, a five-year guy for us, uh, a walk-on, uh, has never had a huge on-the-field role for us. I don't think he's ever missed a day of practice or a day of weight workout fantastic kid. He's going to be extremely successful and I'm just so proud of Brandon for his commitment to this football team and I think he's, you know, he's very uh, representative of what this brotherhood means. Uh, you know, this is a special, special group. Uh, every team has its own identity but, you know, there is a lot of love and a lot of family feeling on this football team and we, you know, we say all the time that a lot of people talk family when they talk football but I, I believe these guys are living it and uh, you know, that's one of the things that's so special about our football team. And such a big part of the family uh, in the football program, I think, is the fact you mentioned uh, guys that come out all season long for practice. They work in the summer. They work all the time and maybe not get on the field on game day. Right. They're such a huge part of the football team. Without a doubt. You know, every we talk all the time. Everybody on the team has a role. You know, some guy's role is very uh, visible on game day. Some guys don't have a visible role on game day, but they're just as important. And uh, you know, it, that's, it's really, really rewarding as a coach when you get to see these guys that have paid the price just like the stars, uh, you know, finish their career out and, and are appreciated by their teammates. 
and a great way to go out for the seniors with a 52-30 victory, but still lots to accomplish for this football team as uh, we move on into next week and a big football game on the road as the Bisons will travel to Russellville and take on Arkansas Tech. And it's an Arkansas Tech team coach and I know it's, that is a red hot football team and uh, final regular season game coming up on the road next week against Arkansas Tech. Right, you know, uh, they have had two games in a row. They went to East Central on Senior Day and beat East Central. And uh, you know, you look at the statistics and you're like, how did they do that? Well, I'll tell you how they did it. They did it because they're playing as a football team right now. Uh, they're playing together. They're getting the job done. They won an overtime against Southeastern this past week. Uh, and uh, you know, there are two former Bisons on that coaching staff now, Scott Simons, who coached for us and did a fantastic job for us as their defensive coordinator. Josh Jones, who was an All-American defensive back for us, is also on their coaching staff. Uh, Coach Monica is a guy who has been around the triple option. He was at North Alabama in the mid-90s when they won three straight national championships, running a very similar version of what we do offensively. So know they're gonna have a great plan and uh, you know, it's, it's on the road, it's their senior day. So we know what we're headed into. We're headed into a, a situation where we're gonna play a very motivated football team that has continued to improve week by week. And their young players that were, you know, they, they are playing some freshmen. They were freshmen back in September. Those guys are veterans now. And uh, we know that we've got our work cut out for us. And the games against the old AIC opponents seem to add a little bit more to the football games. And the first time that the Bisons have traveled over to Russellville, it seems like in a long time. It is, I, you know, I believe maybe uh, 2008 was the last time we were over there. And uh, I'm sure they're, they were tired of coming over to, to Searcy. And uh, you know, they have a beautiful place there, beautiful field. Should be a great atmosphere. And uh, we're looking forward to a great football game on Saturday. And as we tape this edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee, it is Veterans Day. And obviously, uh, Veterans Day means so much to so many of us. And I know it has a special meaning to Bison football. It has a special meaning to Bison football. You know, uh, in 2006, we lost one of our, our former Bisons, Micah Gifford, who was a part of the 2002 team, one of the best teams we've ever had here. Very talented football team. Micah was a guy who Started out as a defensive end, ended up moving him to middle linebacker, and he really kind of cemented that team together, honestly, our defense in 2002. Uh, he wanted to serve his country, made a commitment, joined the Marines, and uh, lost his life in 2006. And so we, we remember Micah. He, we have a, a picture framed of him in our hallway of our main uh, football area. And uh, we also have a locker that's dedicated to his memory that nobody uses, and it's locker number 97. So, you know, we want to remember Micah today, and you know, we're so grateful to his family. We're grateful to him for his sacrifice because we know that's why we enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy. Absolutely. Coach, great to be with you as always. Look forward to seeing you next week. Best of luck this week at Arkansas Tech. Thank you, Billy. That's all for this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We'll see you next time. Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee.